Yo, what is everyone, and welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to go over how to create this really cool Ken's Burn effect in Final Cut Pro 10. As you can see right here, there is the Ken's Burn effect, and basically, it's just a digital zoom in effect. Normally, you would kind of zoom in with the position and scale, kind of keyframing it, but the Ken's Burn's um, tool does it all by itself, which is definitely a really cool effect. It can definitely save you um, a lot of time. So let's head over to the example right here. I'm going to basically go over how to actually create the effect. So let's go ahead and play the video right here. And I already placed a marker, but right here is, want, is where I want to create um, a freeze frame. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and click on the frame where I want to create a freeze frame. I'm going to hold down Option F right here and there you go you have created a freeze frame right there another thing you can do too is you can go to edit right here and you can go ahead and click on add freeze frame right there so if i go ahead and play the video right here i already have a freeze frame right here let's go ahead and play it right here and then boom as you can see right there it creates a freeze frame and then goes into the second clip right here also I'm going to go ahead head over to the freeze frame and click on control D and then set it for two seconds I would encourage you to set it between two and three seconds um, for a freeze frame because you don't want to be you don't want it to be too long or it's gonna to go too slow but if it's too fast the zoom is gonna be way way um, too slow so what you're gonna do next I'll go ahead and just rename the clip right here I'll rename it to freeze frame right there what I want to do is going to head over here and I'm going to go ahead and apply a draw mask onto the effect right there. Now what I want to do is I'm going to go over here and just kind of increase it to about 400% right there. And then I'm going to take the mask or we're going to go 200% right here. I'm going to go ahead and click on the clip, take the mask, and then just basically cut out a rough selection right here. Now obviously this is just going to be for the tutorial, but you're obviously going to want to put um, a lot more time and effort into it if this is actually like um, a real video like a client video what you want to do too is you want to go to invert mask right here and then I would increase the feathering to maybe 15 or 20 percent you want a really nice feathering or else it's going to look really um, harsh right there another thing you can do too is you could click on the point right here you could add a point right there or you could actually click on the point right here and you could actually create kind of a smooth line right here so you could go all through all, all of them right here and kind of basically just create a smooth line right here um, and then you can just keep doing that for all of the different points just to help make it look a lot smoother now what you want to do is you want to click on the clip right here you want to head to the crop tool right here actually I'll go back to uh, fit right here or actually I could just zoom in a little bit um, but whatever I'll go to the crop tool right here go to the crop tool right here so under here go to crop right here go to Ken Burns right here and then you want to do is you want to click on the end right here and you want to take the end and you want to put it right inside the person's eye or wherever you're trying to zoom in right there and it will zoom in just a little bit more just to make sure you get a pretty good accurate selection of it right here Maybe we'll zoom it up. Now the one thing to keep in mind too is it's this Ken's burn effect. I believe I could be wrong on this, but it only goes at like a certain size. So if you're trying to zoom into something that's like really far away, I don't think the Ken's burn effect can actually do it. So you want to make sure that your subject is pretty close. So let's go ahead and now this is the moment of truth right here. Moment of truth right here. Let's go ahead and play it right here. And let's see if we got the look that we wanted right here. So there you go. And voila you have created this really cool effect. Now what you want to do is you want to place the second video and place it right underneath the freeze frame um, right there. And you have created this really cool Ken's burn effect. Now obviously you can adjust the mask, make it look a little bit nicer. Um, one thing to keep in mind if you've never cut out someone's eye to do like a zoom in mask, it's definitely really difficult to cut out uh, someone's eye because it's hard to know kind of where to actually cut out. But let's see if we got the look we wanted. And there you go. You have created this really cool Ken's burn um, a zoom in effect. I think it's definitely a really cool effect right there. And it's as simple as that. Definitely really cool, very simple effect. You could go ahead and use the, you could keyframe the scale and the position to zoom in, but I find the Ken's burn effect not only zooms in a lot better, but the problem when you keyframe something is sometimes the keyframe will zoom in really fast and then slow down. Well, the Ken's burn effect kind of keeps 
um, a consistent pace. Uh, so I definitely think it's a really cool effect. And I highly encourage you to use the Ken Burn effect, Ken's, Ken Burns effect, more than you actually just key from the scale right here. So let's go ahead and play it right here. And obviously, again, this isn't completely perfect, but I took a little bit, a little more time with the mask right there. And there you go. You have created this really cool Ken's Burn um, zoom in effect in Final Cut Pro 10. So again right here, this is a freeze frame right here. We're gonna hold down option F to basically create a freeze frame. And then all you're doing is you're going to the crop tool right here. You're going to the Ken's burn effect right here. And then you're just placing the end marker right here on the person. Or you can go backwards. You can have the end all the way out here and then you can actually have it start in the eye and have the person or have the Ken's burn effect zoom out. I think in most cases, most people would want it to zoom in to someone's eye or something. Like that. It obviously it doesn't have to be an eye, but I think this is, especially in music videos, um, this effect is incredibly popular. Like hip hop music videos, definitely a really popular effect. And I'm sure you've probably seen this effect before. And now you know how to create it. It literally takes 15, 20 minutes um, to create this effect right here. So anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you found it helpful and informative. If you're new to this channel, I upload Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials every day at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you enjoy these types of videos, consider hitting that subscribe button. Also, the Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial playlist with over 170 Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials. See you in the next one. Peace.